widely considered one of the founding fathers of professional pest management, our next inductee played a pivotal role in shaping industry regulations and best practices. He also donated $1 million to the University of Florida to fund the establishment of an endowed professorship in structural pest control and urban entomology. Here's a short video about our third PMP Hall of Fame Class of 2014 inductee, Dempsey R. Sapp Sr. If the pest management industry had its own version of Mount Rushmore, Dempsey R. Sapp Sr. would be one of the four on it. Born in 1922, Sapp grew up on his family's farm in New River, Florida. After graduating from high school in 1940, he worked in a local courthouse typing various documents, including wills and deeds. After the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, he enlisted in the Navy in 1943 and was active in the European and Pacific theaters. After serving in the Navy, Sapp enrolled at the University of Florida in 1946 with the help of the GI Bill. Originally, he wanted to become a lawyer, but he ended up in the entomology field because of financial necessity. Sapp was offered a job managing the campus pest control department, but to do so, he first had to take an entomology course. Sapp took the course, liked it, and forgot about law school. He graduated from UF in 1948 with a Bachelor of Science degree. Wanting to start his own business, Sapp earned a master's degree in entomology from UF in 1949 because he thought it would serve him well. Two days after receiving his master's degree, he opened Florida Pest Control and Chemical Company in Gainesville, Florida, with his business partner Roy Roig, whom he met in college. Florida Pest Control's break-even point was four years after it started, according to Sapp. His business partner wanted to leave the business, and Sapp bought him out for $10,000. After surviving its first five years in business, the company grew quickly. The first office included a retail garden store and offered garden supplies. Today, the company has 20 offices in Florida and about 500 employees, including graduate entomologists and professional technicians. It's considered one of the biggest family-owned pest management companies in the United States. Sapp's rich life and professional influence makes him one of the pest management industry's true elder statesmen. Generation and he can't see. He's lost most of his eyesight, but he would love to be here tonight and see all the people he's known for so many years. And, um, you know, as the, uh, the picture uh, pointed out, uh, my dad, it's kind of funny, uh, when he got out of the Navy, um, well, first I'm going to tell a little story. Uh, when he worked in that courthouse, he typed all the documents, okay? He did all the mortgages, all the deeds, and, you know, these are legal, lengthy um, papers, but back then, in the 40s, they didn't have copy machines, and they didn't have faxes or computers, so when you needed more than one copy, you just had to retype the thing, right? Well, when he went into the Navy, um, he was going to apply for a communications job, and he had to take a typing test. Well, he typed, um, I think, 135, no, I don't remember, 140 words per minute, something like that, and the instructor said, okay, everybody can leave, but sat. And my dad's saying, wow, what have I done, you know? And he asked the instructor, he says, sir, have I done something wrong? He says, I don't know, but I'm going to make you take that test again, and I'm going to be looking over your shoulder to make sure. And I just don't believe what you did. 
and he typed, he took the test again, this time he typed two words faster than he did the first time. And he was like within three or four words a minute of the um, world record at the time. So the guy just thought, you've got to be cheating. I don't know how you did it, you know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, in 1946, after serving in the Navy, you know, Dad enrolled at the University of Florida with the assistance of the GI Bill. Now, normally at this time, I'd probably say, how about them gators, you know? But right now, that's not a good subject, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Florida football, we, we better move on. We better move on, you know? But it is funny, uh, my dad, when he uh, enrolled at the University of Florida, he had all intentions of, uh, you know, pursuing a law degree. And um, it wasn't long after he was enrolled and, and pursuing his law degree, my mother said, hey, you know, we're expecting a baby, our first child. So he thinks, oh boy, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to get another job. So uh, he had a paper route that he ran on Sunday and, uh, and the GI Bill, but he said, you know, I'm gonna have to do something more. So his good friend, Earl Dixon, with Peninsula Pest Control here in Florida, uh, told him, hey, I hear they're hiring in the pest control department here on campus. So he, he took the job, $40 a month, 40 bucks a month for the job. And uh, later on, a supervisory position came up, and it was $100 a month. But Dr. Creighton, who ran the pest control division at the time, said, there's one catch. And he says, what's that? He says, you're going to have to take a course in entomology. So he said, all right, well, I need the money, so I'll do whatever we got to do. But anyway, he, uh, Dr. Hetrick taught the first uh, class, and he just fell in love with entomology and forgot all about his law degree. But I would say my dad would have been a darn good lawyer, too. <laughs> Um, but that was a, just another story, and you know, our, um, he graduated from the University of Florida uh, in 1949 on a Saturday, and um, two days later he opened the doors to Florida Pest Control, so he didn't waste any time there either, you know, and he, as the uh, picture said, uh, he had a partner for a while, and that didn't work out too good, but uh, I just also want to say, September 5th of this year, our company had its 65th birthday. 65 years in business, that's, uh, to me, that's pretty neat. Um, you know, most companies, they never get that old. And um, usually what happens is the owner either sells the company or, you know, the next generation comes in, usually runs it in the ground, and knock on wood, neither one of those have happened yet. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I asked him uh, today before I left the office, I said, uh, you know, is there anything in particular that, that you'd like for me to say, you know, on your behalf? And he says, yeah, you know, the main, most important thing is that uh, this honor wouldn't even be possible if it wasn't for family and great employees. And I noticed you said the same thing about your employees and family, too. Um, so my dad certainly, uh, you know, feels the same way. And uh, we've had a lot of employees, uh, a lot of great employees. Uh, I don't know, we've had three or four retire with over 40 years with our company. I can't, we probably had 15 with 30 years or more retire from our company. So we've got a lot of longevity and uh, I think that speaks well of the company that he started. And another thing I'm really proud of, unlike a lot of people, when he started his company, he didn't go out and buy a company to have a foundation. When he started his company, two days after graduating from the University of Florida, he had no customer base, he had no customers. You know, so he started uh, organically from the ground up, and uh, today we have over 20 locations and over 500 employees. So, again, on behalf of my father, I really want to thank uh, PMP Pest Management for this uh, outstanding honor, and also would like to recognize all the other former inductees as well. Thank you very much. Here's to new PMP Hall of Famer, Dempsey R. Sapp Sr.